Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we'll be working on MTH number 1039 Southern Proto Sound 1 switcher on how to uh, basically lubricate it and uh, how to take the trucks off on it if you are new to the hobby. What you'll need is a Phillips hook screwdriver, a pair of tweezers, believe yeah it does actually have its original traction tires from when I bought it and yeah and a flathead screwdriver to do this so we're gonna start by unscrewing the chassis I'm going to have to move the camera positioning here positioning you're gonna take out these two Phillips head screwdriver or Phillips head screws basically take off the side panel right here. I believe that's one of ours and this is the other one. Am I right? I got three Phillips head screws here. Yeah basically make sure when you're working you have this tray cleared out here. Or you might not, not know what screws you have. In this case, I am... Nope, that's not the right one. Here we are. Here's both of them. Wait, no, that's got a different tail on design. Wait a minute. I think these are our two matching ones. Here's one of them. The camera will focus. Come on. There we go. Basically, they look like this. I'm going to put them on the other side of the um, moot. Here's your truck panel. So, next up, we're going to take the other side off. Just got a different fill. So, will this one work? Okay. I actually brought two Phillips head. I wasn't sure if this one would work or not. I thought it might be too small. As you can see, I'm just taking it off like the other side. This is not really important. I have... Yeah. Well, yeah. It kind of is. In case you don't need to get to the gearbox. This particular engine is really good for... Uh... A lot of things. It's good for shunting. It's a really loud engine overall. So can we get this one? Okay, we have it loose. There we go. So we're just gonna set the ever to screws this side here. If I can pop them out of their mounting points. Uh First thing I'm going to tell you what this looks like is it's going to look like an amplate. Um, this mix that came off from the top. I'm going to have to glue that back. Is here's what it's going to look like. It's going to look a little bit weird. Um, I can already feel grease on this. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to need to grease it. What we're going to do is set back down. Uh, of course, just. The you know, is my railroad. It won't come like that if you buy one of these. If it if it does, you've bought mine. I've sold it apparently. Um, so here are the MTH on and off switch. It's got a direction switch where it only can go uh, forward. And it's, and then this would be the sound switch. No, it's going to be smoke switch. Pardon me. Uh, it's going to be a smoke switch is what this switch is for. And it's not there because this engine does not have the smoke feature in it. Because it is an MTH Rail King engine. So, I believe this is our friendly little traction tire here. I'm going to try to slide him off here. Just kind of pop him off. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. He's really stiff. 
He's stick too. Thick traction tire. Come on, pop off. Here's your traction tire. It's what it look like. Uh, basically, what you would do is my engine is flying right here. Um, I don't think I'll need much. Yeah, gearbox might need some new grease. Okay. I'm set my charging tower right there. I'm gonna go get my grease and my um oh shoot oil or lubricant. So, I have my MTH lubricant oil and my MTH grease. If you can't read that, it says grease. So, what you're going to do is basically uh, you're going to come over here and you're going to lubricate. I'm going to flip the engine back around. So, you're going to lubricate your wheels. And right here's where you're going to lubricate them. Just a couple drops, Not, nothing too heavy. Don't over oil them, they'll will slip and crap. Okay, and one more little drop. Okay, this side is complete. Um, obviously, it has a traction tire right here, uh, has four traction tires on the locomotive. Both of them. Here's two of them right here. And then one of them I've took off. And we'll show you how to put that one back on in a minute. And we have this one. That one's all finished. Or this side is all finished. So we're going to put the little cap back on that and set it to the side. We're going to take our trucks. It doesn't matter which direction it is. Same mold, right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take our trucks. We're going to put the little screws back in the holes in them before you put it back on. That way it's not as much as a pain in the butt. If I can get in the hole, come on. Okay. There we go. We have our truck screws. And we are going to set it down right here. Back in its position. You want to take a screwdriver. You're not going to take a screwdriver. You're going to, um, yeah, you're going to take a screwdriver. You're going to fit this. Will you sit on the tail end of this thing? It's attracted to, like, one side of the screwdriver. It's one side. Okay, here we go. And, um, basically, I have to readjust the camera. We're going to screw this back in. Just kind of screw it in the little holes. Sorry if you can't see it. There's two little holes down there. Oh, shoot. There we go. Once it's locked, there we go. So now it's locked into position here. You can see there's the little two screws that I was talking about. This tripod will work. So then we're going to flip the engine back over. If it will want to flip. Ah, a screw fell down in there. And I'm going to show you how to lubricate the diesel. Just, I'm going to put like just a tad bit of grease on it. Maybe, hopefully not too much. I think this is red grease. Yeah, it's red grease. Ah, come on. Of course, when it comes out, it's going to be a big, thick wall. be a little too much. It'll get lubricated there. Okay, there 
go. Got your lubrication grease. Okay, so now comes the fun part, putting back the traction tire back on. Of course, that was sarcasm. What we're gonna do is you're basically going to start from the bottom. It's a lot easier. I'm just gonna slide it. Maybe, maybe it wants to do this. So now I've got the weird case scenario like I had it on my 771 that's in the background. Uh, or it's flipped upside down. So you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver and just kind of try to flatten it out. Hopefully it doesn't decide to try to flip back over. I'm gonna try to do this by hand. There we go. There we go. Also, while you're under here, make sure to um, oil your wheel. Third, third rail. Third, third, third rail wheel. That's a tongue twister. Um, back. So I've oiled mine. Um, obviously you'll have to do this for both sides, but I'm not going to do it for both sides because it would be too long of a video and YouTube probably wouldn't allow it. Um, so then you're going to take your plaque back on this side. And you're just going to cover it back up. That's nice and tight. Make sure you get it, the other screw. And that's how you fix or mend your Southern any MPH. I think this is an RS2. No, this is not an RS2. RS2. NW3 or NW2 switcher. Um. Pretty sure this is what this is. Uh, I'm not exactly too good with my switcher models. Um, so mine has a little bit of a problem with the the uh, vent coming off. I'm gonna have to glue that back in. Use a screw. No. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and remember, keep it awesome. Goodbye.